Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about audio visual aids, its introduction. This topic was taken from communication and educational technology for BSc nursing second year students. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the content what we are going to discuss in this video, audio visual aids, only introduction part I am going to discuss in this video. In my uh, future videos, I will be discussing about each uh, aid separately, okay. So, introduction. Moving on to the introduction, audio visual aids, they are devices or technological media or learning devices or added devices that help the teacher to clarify, establish, correlate, coordinate, accurate concepts, interpretations and enable him to make the learning more concrete, effective, interesting, inspirational and meaningful. So, for your regular classes you are supplementing with either audio aids or visual aids or both audio visual aids think that if i am going to go on give lecture monotonously whether the class will be interesting no so to add more interest or inspirational to the class i am going to use some effective uh, media either it can be a mass media or it can be some only audio aids or only video aids or it can be combined both audio visual aids so which is going to make the class more 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 interesting so nowadays we are using technological media also so you are using uh, internet you are using powerpoint presentations everything like that so audio visual aids so under this you are having only separately audio aids or only visual aids or combined both audio visual aids so here audio means it is uh, hearing visual means seeing and aids are nothing but the devices what you are you are going to use for example uh, radio radio is a audio aid tv is a both audio and visual aid okay so like that uh, you have so many types in audio visual aids which we will be seeing in the next forthcoming slides so definition audio visual aid so here audio visual aid and audio visual aid is an instructional device in which the message can be heard as well as seen so audio visual and visual aid so here you are using both audio as well as visual combined together in an instrumental device for example uh, tv tv is a both audio and visual aid okay so you can see it and you can hear the dialogues also okay so audio visual aids are those sensory objects or images which initiate or stimulate the and reinforce learning so when you are using audio visual aids it is going to reinforce the learning see first i am telling some lecture and i am showing some picture or chart me so it is going to reinforce it is going to make your learning more and more effective okay so it is going to stimulate your sensory images or objects audio visual aids are those aids which help in completing the triangular processes of learning that is motivation classification and stimulation what is the triangular process of learning motivation classification and stimulation so this audio visual aids is going to help in completing this triangular process next audio visual aids or any device which can be used to make the learning experiences more concrete that is simple and uh, to the point realistic more realistic as well as more dynamic so this audio visual aids it is going to make your learning more and more effective by making it more concrete and more realistic and more dynamic so the definitions audio visual aids are those sensory objects or images which initiate or stimulate and reinforce learning was given by burton 
audio visual aids are those aids which help in completing the triangular process of learning that is motivation classification and stimulation was given by carter v good audio visual aids or any device which can be used to make the learning experiences more concrete and more dynamic so this definition was given by kinder s james let's see the purposes or importance of audio visual aids so the first purpose is to have effective teaching so when you are using audio visual aids your teaching will be more and more effective so that to make the students to look listen and learn to make the students to look listen and learn so first thing what i have told effective teaching next is look listen and learn next it is to make the thing more interesting to make the thing more interesting next is experience to create a learning experience to create a learning experiences dramatize the experiences by means of a role play you can uh, uh, dramatize the experiences or you can uh, show the experiences uh, for example if you want to show the show the performance of labor you can show it by means of a powerpoint presentation or uh, as a video you can show it so that uh, they can dramatize the experience okay so next is uh, learning through field trips so field trips when you are going to uh, learn in the real life experiences the learning will be more effective next is stimulate think correct thinking so when you are going to use audio visual aids it is going to um, make you to think in an appropriate way it is going to stimulate your abstract thinking etc next is attention and concentration so attention and concentration of the students or the viewers will be increased when you are going to use uh, audio visual aids uh, and newness novelty novelty or newness uh, uh, will be attracted and it will be uh, reaching the um, whole public so newness so think that uh, even know in advertisements also they are uh, creating new new ads so they are not uh, maintaining the same ad for 10 years so every year or every 3 months once they are changing the ads also so it is going to stimulate and it is going to provide a novel or new experiences for the uh, viewers or the students or the general public so these are the uh, purposes of audio visual aids so what are the purposes uh, effective teaching look listen and learn interesting experience newness attention and concentration stimulating correct thinking learning through field trip dramatizing the experiences so these are the purposes and importance of av aids next to moving on to the principles of audio visual aids they should be meaningful and purposeful when you are creating an audio visual aid it should have a meaning and it should have a purpose and it should be simple it should not be too complicated or complex it should be very very simple and they should be accurate in every aspect so whatever you are selecting everything should be accurate and also it should be very cheap it should be cost effective also as far as possible they should be improvised according to the current situation or current scenario it should be improvised you should not follow the old thing itself okay they should be larger enough to be popularly seen by students so suppose if you are creating a flash card the flash card the size of the words what you are going to use in this flash card that should be visible even to the last bench students like that so according to the thing may what you are preparing suppose if you are going to prepare a powerpoint presentation to a auditorium where so many people are going to where some thousands of people are going to be there so that powerpoint that font size everything should be in such a way so that even the last person also could see it so let's see the characteristics of av aids so first characteristic is it should be appropriate size already i have discussed appropriate size 
portable portable easily it should be transportable next it should be based on the intelligence level it should be based on the intelligence level of the um, audience suppose if the audience are illiterate you can use some diagrammatic representations to explain the situation like that latest information should be covered latest information it should be cheap it should be purposeful it should be simple it should be meaningful and it should be improvised so all these things i have explained in the previous slide itself so what are all the characteristics of av aids it should be based on the intelligence level latest information should be covered it should be cheap it should be purposeful it should be simple meaningful improvised then appropriateness and it should be portable So coming to the classification of instructional aids which is otherwise called as audio visual aids or instructional aids means the tools which are used in instruction purpose or education purpose auditory aids visual aids audio visual aids auditory aids only auditory visual only seeing audio visual aids both things apart from those things you have aids through activity and traditional media so we will see what and all comes under auditory aids what and all comes under visual aids what and all comes under both auditory and visual aids and what and all comes under aids through activity and aids traditional media so auditory aids radio recordings mic phonograms megaphone microphone gramophone radio recordings mic phonogram megaphone microphone gramophone next is visual aids under that you have non projected or unprojected aids and projected aids what is this non projected or unprojected aids models 3d materials pictures charts flannel graphs boards cartoons maps photograph flash cards illustrations posters printed material models 3d materials pictures charts flannel graphs boards cartoons maps photographs flash cards illustrations posters and printed material under projected aids you have so the non projected aids you are not projecting it anything under projected aids you have overhead projector epidioscope slide projector film projector opaque projector so all this is is going to project the things for example slide projector you are going to use slides means each slide when you are going to operate it each slide is going to change like that okay overhead projector you can uh, use ohp sheets uh, glass sheets and you can write it and you can present it like that audio visual aids so which has both audio and video is video television sound motion pictures your cinema also comes under sound motion pictures aids through activity that is field trip taking to a field trip models exhibitions comes under aids through activity traditional media puppets dramas folk songs and folk dances which comes under traditional media so folk song folk dances drama puppet shows everything comes under traditional media so in detail we can see about all these uh, things in the forthcoming videos i will be posting separate video on audio ways separate video on visual aids separate video on both audio visual aids and uh, traditional media and uh, aids through activity separately separately i will post in my next videos so hope this video is clear for you all this is a detailed introduction about audio visualize which is a very important question so many times you will be getting a question on audio visualize characteristics purposes types classification like that and all so this video has given you a detailed explanation about the introduction part thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos as well as videos related to science subjects thank you friends